Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we're going to have a little chat about contrast, like a post-mortem of contrast, if you will. It's not going to be a long video because my chest is still really painful and I still keep coughing, and uh, having been to the doctors, there's a risk that it might actually be pneumonia, again, because I didn't have enough fun with that the first time. So, we're now quite a way off when contrast was released, and contrast was very much billed as being the revolutionary paint. You know, you go from two thin coats to one thick coat. It's supposed to cut down on time, it's supposed to cut down on effort, it reduces the need for, for shading or blending. Essentially, you get the colour you want, you spray your models either a warm base coat or a cold base coat, and, uh, and off you go. You're done. Sorted. You want to make nice, clean whites for your white scars? There's contrast for that, and it only requires one one coat. Same for things like Black Templars. Well, in fact, one of the colours was Black Templar. There's really nothing in there at all. I've used all of that. The question is, now we are however many months away from the release of Contrast, just how much has it actually revolutionised the way you paint? That's what I'm curious about. Because I kind of I had a wait-and-see mentality, as I do with a lot of stuff that Games Workshop does. I had a, okay, well, the hype says this, but what... What are we actually going to get from it? And I expected something that would make things easier, but probably not be a full-on replacement for traditional painting methods. And I feel like what I got was actually somewhat less than what I expected, because for the most part, I found that far from switching over to contrast entirely, I rarely use contrast, I and mean, when I do use it, it's, it's more to go along with what I would do Normally, contrast has absolutely not taken over the way I paint. It's not changed the way I do things on like a, a day-to-day -day basis. It's not made it so that everything I paint is painted with contrast. Instead, it's things are done here and there. It provides the occasional, I, I guess, the occasional compliment to just what I would normally do for painting. But I haven't actually painted a full model using nothing but contrast, because there are certain colours, I mean, for a start, that, for me, contrast could never, ever replace. Things like good gold, silver, and copper. I mean, the ones I use for those are still are still these, Vallejo liquid paints. Um, so liquid gold, liquid copper, although admittedly, most of my liquid copper is now all over my desk because I spilt it like an idiot. Um, and the liquid silver... There is no there is no way to compare contrast to those because contrast does not do what those paints do. They provide a beautiful, clean, even coat of, of silver or gold or copper, and there is nothing that contrast has that even remotely compares to that. It's a similar thing with things like washes. I saw quite a few people when contrast began to roll out say, oh, well, I don't even bother washing the models anymore. Even the models I've used contrast on... I still need to wash because whilst it does make the you know the, the 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 dark sections dark and the light sections light it doesn't do it comprehensively it's not an all in one replacement system it feels like which is kind of what it was billed as there's a lot of talk of the fact that this would change the way that you paint and change the change your methodology and you just do the one thing for every model and it'd be absolutely perfect and Personally, that just hasn't really been the case. I also say as well that there are certain things that are better about these than others. There are a couple of colours that I've bought that I just have never used again because they're okay, but they don't really match up to just using a standard paint and a wash or two for either depth of colour or for coverage. Things like Black Templar, though, are absolutely grand. I mean, I think this is one of the best paints that Games Workshop has ever made, genuinely. Uh, when I was doing a very quick painting of some scenery for uh, for the finale of a big D&D &D arc for the campaign that I do. Um, I, I had the Corp Track Mausoleum. I bought that because I wanted a nice graveyard. And I did not have a huge amount of time to paint it because I left things a little bit last minute, as so often happens uh, when it comes to scenery and models in general for me. So I just quickly grabbed that set. I just sprayed it all with Wraithbone, and then I went to town with... Uh, with the Black Templar, the Skeleton Horde, and the Aethematic? Aethematic Blue, I think it's called. And you know what? In the space of two days, I had pretty much all of that painted to an okay standard. It's not like, it's not 
display worthy. Well, I say that, it's on display, sort of up there at the top of the case there, but it was fine for what I needed it for. The combination of using contrast to get nice nice brickwork that was dark in the right places, light in the others. Same for Skeleton Hall, just giving the, giving the schools a nice bit of depth. And that nice kind of ghostly blue, again, it did the job. And uh, the copper you can see there on on the uh, on the gates and the little things on the ground. It's a very nice copper colour. It was like it was brilliant for this, but for just everyday models, I just haven't found myself needing it as much as I thought I would. I haven't found myself thinking that it's a better solution to what I want to achieve in painting than say using washes or just traditional paints. I mean, there are things that I think have worked really well from it. I mean, the Iron Warrior's Knight back there, which once it's finished, I'll I'll do a quick video on. Um, I used the uh, Black Templar contrast for all of the black on that model, precisely because it provides that not smooth finish. It's not all one shade of black. It kind of, it's mottled and, and different from spot to spot, which is an effect I wanted. If I wanted proper black coverage, though, I definitely wouldn't use that, because... It doesn't provide even coverage all the way across. It's not supposed to. But in that respect, it's hardly a replacement for a traditional paint. What I'm wondering is, do you find the same thing? Now that contrast has been out a bit, you've had time to acclimatize, you've had time to use it for a bit, have you converted all the way? Do you use nothing but this stuff? Or, like me, do you find that some of it is good for some stuff? You will use it as a, as a, as a complement to other other paints, but that it's not exactly been the revolutionary step than perhaps was originally thought. That actually, whilst it is useful, and it has come in handy, and it does have most definite strong spots, I mean, being able to, to smash out the entire Corpse Rack Mausoleum in like, I've got to say, it was like a couple of days using this stuff, was a godsend. Outside of that, though, outside of those niche instances... Has it taken your painting routine by storm? Or is it just one of those things that's okay and you use occasionally, but don't really place a huge amount of stock in? Let me know in the comments down below what you reckon of all the contrast stuff. Now it's been out, you've had plenty of time to play with it. And uh, now that you've had a chance to incorporate it into the way that you paint. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like, don't click if you don't want to. And of course, there's a link in the description for Affiliate Games, where you can buy, funnily enough, all the contrast paints, along with everything else tabletop related, 40k, Age of Sigma, and all other games, pretty much. Um, if you use that link, I get a little something for sending you that way. And also, at the end of the month, 10% of whatever goes through that link gets donated to charity. So there's a nice extra element to it as well. That was not supposed to be a play on words. That was just coincidence. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Toodaloo.